Meet Tiny and Tim, a made-up black cat chickadee pair that has been together for at least four years. Tiny was born in 2013. I'm not sure when Tim was born. I've watched Tiny and Tim raise five broods together since 2015. Typically, chickadees raise one brood a year, but sometimes, if the insects are plentiful, they can have two broods in one year, which was the case last year. Of all the years I've been watching chickadees, I've yet to find an active nest. I've seen a few being dug out, but never any occupied. This year, that changed. For the first time, I finally got to see how a chickadee pair work together to raise their nestlings. Here's my experience. Enjoy! I was kind of late to the game when I found the nest because they had already hatched and were at the nestling stage. A nosy black and white warbler came by to snoop. He's lucky Tim never caught him. This seems to be a thing with these guys. Back in 2014, while watching my first nuthatch nest, which belonged to Hatch and his then mate Nutty, a black and white warbler came by while the nestlings were looking out of the nest hole, calling to their parents. He stayed a while, seemingly not knowing what to do, then left. But on its way back, and this time with Grub, he stopped by the nest again. After what seemed to be some serious thinking, he remembered, Oh yeah, I gotta get this Grub back to my own kids, and left. Silly birds. The tree Tiny and Tim chose was an old rotted one with no top, perfect for digging out a hole in. Nuthatches choose trees like this too. Unlike woodpeckers and nuthatches who build almost perfect circular holes, that doesn't seem to be the case here. I wished I could see in the nest, but I don't have a camera that could do that, so I had no idea how many were in there. Tiny and Tim are busy little D's, coming back and forth to the nest multiple times. On one of his trips, Tim let his babies know he was there by using the faint for bee call just before going inside, but he didn't know that Tani was already inside, which caused a little trouble when she was ready to leave. Today, Tani and Tim met me at the bottom of the hill. Tani was so hungry that she ate two seeds while on my hand. They were their typical busy selves, coming and going almost constantly. However, Tani did manage to take a little break long enough to preen her feathers and get a good stretch in. While watching the nest, I heard some rustling in the grass near me. I couldn't find what it was at first, but quickly discovered it was a cute little shrew trying to explore the world above. They are unbelievably tiny and move very quick. I was especially intrigued by its long snout, which move around somewhat like an elephant's trunk. The neat thing with sitting still for a period of time in the woods is that you really never know what you will see. I witness the best things when I'm resting. A rainy day today, but rain or not, they both work double time feeding and caring for the nestlings. They carry the fecal sacs away from the nest. I spotted a newly fledged robin on a limb in a nearby tree, my first fledgling for the year. Best of luck to you, little buddy. Tim is showing signs of molting. He stopped to preen his feathers and seems irritated. Molting can be a little itchy. Tiny was more than happy to eat a seed or two on my hand. Something about the rainy atmosphere and her eating on my hand had a magical feeling to it. I noticed that the rain seemed to bring out all kinds of characters. A yellow-bellied flycatcher, Magnolia Warbler, Northern Water Thrush, and a lovely black and white warbler that whistled a tune. 
It's nice to see life returning to these woods. There was plenty of action today. For the first time, I got a little glimpse of one of the nestlings who peeped out for a moment. And another time, I got to see the mouth of one as Tiny was feeding it. Tim Alarm called and started doing something I've never seen any chickadees do before. He stiffened up and started kind of swaying back and forth. And then he began wing slapping. I'm not sure if this is the snake display I keep hearing about, but I thought only females did that when inside the nest. I could not see what was the matter until the second time I saw him do it. It turned out to be a chipmunk which was very close to the tree the nestlings were in. This worried me because I know that they can destroy a whole nest. One year, while watching a downy woodpecker nest, I returned one morning to find a squirrel up in the tree exhausted from chewing the hole in an attempt to make it bigger so he could get in. Luckily, in this case, the chipmunk seemed oblivious and left on his own. Phew! I noticed a black and white wobbler nearby, but this guy didn't seem interested in the nest. I took a rest and it wasn't long before Tiny joined me for a snack. These moments are the most precious ones to me. It wasn't long though before I was up on the go again because of a squirrel that had ticked Tim off. It wasn't very close to the nest at all though, which I found interesting, but I guess Tim isn't wanting to take any chances. He didn't seem nearly as intense with his movements like he did when the chipmunk was near the nest. I'm pretty sure that Tiny and Tim's nestlings are going to fledge soon. Fledging day, but I missed it, and not by much, as I found one of the little ones only 20 feet from the nest. He was trying to get his bearings. It must look so tremendously scary to a little bird. Luckily, he found his way up to the next limb, and Tiny came by to feed him. Shortly after, he flew off. I couldn't find the other ones, and I really didn't want to disturb them. It's a scary time for them, so I decided to leave them alone. I got an idea in my head to carve Tiny and Tim's name into the tree, along with the date. It's my first chickadee nest after all, and it belongs to my favorite chickadee pair. Today I was eager to find the babies and see how they were doing. I went looking and found four. I don't know if that is all they had or if they lost some. Usually they have like six or more. It was good to see them though. Tiny and Tim did a great job once again. It's amazing how quickly they grow up. Now they are exploring the world and getting familiar with things. They are also more confident. I'm so happy for Tiny and Tim and their little ones. What a beautiful experience to watch these intimate moments. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed me sharing my experience with watching this lovely chickadee pair raising their babies together. If you did enjoy, please give the video a like. Happy birding! Hey guys, just a friendly reminder for anyone interested in these limited one-time only shirts. This is the last week you can get them. They are available until the 15th of September. And if this shirt is just not for you, but you still would like to support me, share this video on Facebook or Twitter. It's a free way to help me out tremendously. Thanks a bunch.